Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. This is episode 18 of the US series, the one that deals with every US state and its territories. In this series, I'll try to cover 7 little known facts about these states, so if you wish to see more of these videos, click on the playlist appearing now. Also, don't forget to subscribe and visit my channel, there are hundreds of other videos for you to see. In today's episode, we'll cover Louisiana, so let's start and learn some new things about it. Before America purchased this area in 1803, Louisiana has been both a French colony and, for a brief period, a Spanish one. The land was claimed in the name of France in 1682 and was named after King Louis XIV, better known as Louis the Great. Starting around the 18th century, large populations of African slaves were imported to Louisiana, most from West Africa. This created a mixture of English, French, Spanish and African cultures that endures to this day and Louisiana's cultural inheritance is considered to be an exceptional one within the United States. Everybody heard of the Louisiana Purchase, a deal between France and the United States through which the latter bought huge swaths of land. However, not many people know that the original intent was to only buy New Orleans and portions of the east bank of the Mississippi River. Thomas Jefferson wanted to buy it to ensure a safe and easy route from the east coast to the settlements in the west. The US officials were taken by total surprise when the French foreign minister asked them how much the United States was prepared to pay for the entirety of the Louisiana Territory, not just New Orleans. Fearing that Napoleon might withdraw his offer, along with any possibility to purchase New Orleans, the US officials immediately began negotiations without even waiting for permission from the president. In 19 days the negotiations were over and the US bought Louisiana for 15 million dollars. Naturally, when the news eventually reached Thomas Jefferson, he was quite shocked. He now had to pay more than what he expected, but for an area that essentially doubled the size of the country, without any war or the loss of a single American life. So in essence, this was a great deal. Remember how disastrous were the effects of Hurricane Katrina back in 2005, especially in Louisiana? There is a reason for that. The highest point in Louisiana is at only 163 meters, while New Orleans sits 2.5 meters below sea level, which is the state's lowest point and the second lowest in the country. Much of the state's land was formed from sediment washed down by the Mississippi River, leaving enormous deltas and vast areas of marshland and swamps. So the entire state is at a very low elevation. And this is a problem. In fact, it's such a problem that in some areas the dead are often laid to rest above ground instead of being buried. Mausoleums replace crypts and markers in cemeteries in New Orleans and other cities, otherwise the remains might sip into the groundwater or, in case of a flood, it would be basically guaranteed that the cemeteries would be covered by water, creating a huge potential for some very deadly epidemics. Here's a fact I bet you didn't know. The world's longest bridge over a body of water is the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. The bridge stretches nearly 39 kilometers and has two parallel spans. Since 1969, it was listed by the Guinness World Records as the longest bridge over water. Now, I know what you're thinking. Didn't China just build the longest bridge? Well, the Zhaozhou Bay Bridge is indeed longer, about 41 kilometers, but that is the aggregate length, meaning only about half of it is entirely over water. Louisiana's bridge is entirely over water, so technically they don't fall in the same category. Regardless, driving down a 39 kilometer bridge over water is indeed a great, if not a little terrifying, experience. With all these swamps and marshlands, plus the Mississippi River, there's bound to be a lot of alligators here, right? Yep, there are a lot of them. In fact, Louisiana has one of, if not the highest alligator population in the country. There are an estimated 1 to 2 million alligators roaming in the wild, with an additional 300,000 in alligator farms. 
These animals can weigh 360 to 450 kilograms and can be as long as 4.4 meters. The largest ever recorded alligator was found in Louisiana. This one measured 5.84 meters. Their skin and raw meat are used commercially, so there is the threat of diminishing populations, which could cause huge environmental problems because alligators play a crucial role in maintaining a fragile balance in wetland ecosystems. Baton Rouge is the capital city of Louisiana, but New Orleans is far more famous. It has a distinct French and Spanish Creole architecture, as well as a unique cross-cultural multilingual heritage. And in case you didn't know, it's also the birthplace of jazz music. But the city is probably most known for the famous and colorful Mardi Gras parades. Celebrations last for about two weeks, during which there are several parades and masquerade balls. This event is hugely popular. Roughly 1.4 million people attend Mardi Gras every year in a city of less than 400,000 people. But let's not leave out Baton Rouge just yet. It is after all the political center of Louisiana. The city is a culturally rich center with settlement by immigrants from numerous European nations and African peoples. It was ruled by seven different governments. French, British and Spanish in the colonial era, West Floridian, United States Territory and State, Confederate and United States again, all of them in about 300 years. The city's name means red stick in French. Pierre Lemoyne de Berville wrote that he saw a pole covered in animal blood along the Mississippi River cliff. The pole served as a marker signifying the division of land between two Native American tribes and this name stuck when the city was later established. As to why the city is the capital and not New Orleans, it's because the state legislature considered New Orleans too sinful to be Louisiana's capital. So these were 7 facts about Louisiana. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I upload new content every Wednesday and Saturday, so it'll be worth it. Feel free to share your thoughts downstairs in the comment section. If you wish to support the channel even more, you can consider becoming a patron. Click on the icon on the screen or find the link in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.